and there was no summer. Temperature was so high, you couldn't possibly form a complex molecule, and you need complex molecules for life. But it wasn't just the 900 degree highs or the lack of air that kept Earth sterile. There was also a 100% chance of asteroid storms. It was a shooting gallery, really. Enough of a shooting gallery that Earth's surface was getting pummeled. But this only set the stage for the real cause of summer. There's Earth minding its own business with an axis spinning basically vertically in the solar system. A Mars-sized object careens off the side of the Earth. Scientists call it the Big Whack. And guess what? This is the cosmic clash that created summer. So this major impact in the early Earth birthed the moon and likely also tipped Earth on its axis. Okay, imagine the Earth is a really big rotisserie chicken. This is what the Earth was like before the Big Whack, rotating around the sun a full orbit every year. As you can see, the middle of the chicken, its equator, is totally roasted, while the top and bottom, its poles, are still raw. Of course, after the Big Whack, the Earth's no longer on a straight axis. And the important thing to remember is that as it rotates around the sun, that axis is always pointing in the same direction. So different parts of the Earth warm at different rates at different points in the year. That's what gives us seasons and summer. In the case of the Earth, it takes 365 days at this lopsided angle for each quarter to reach juicy perfection. This axial tilt made Earth a place where life could survive and diversify. Why is that? Because Earth finally had the secret ingredient for biodiversity or the countless forms of life we know today. Seasons. You know what seasons do? They put a stress on the environment. Anytime there's a stress on the environment, life forms have to figure out what they're gonna do about it. It has diversified the kinds of life forms that it's possible to find on Earth. Life forms that now include us. That is, unless the big whack that created our favorite season has a sequel in the works. Which, of course, if it did, might knock Earth to another axial tilt. But, of course, we would just be completely vaporized. But until that happens, just keep on enjoying how summer shaped life on Earth.